Blockchain got recognized because of Bitcoin. It was a fundamental technology for Bitcoin. What an incredible thing Bitcoin is. It's still here working after I don't know how many years it's been and it hasn't even been changed and it doesn't, it's not owned or controlled by any company. So we recognize, we said blockchain now allows you to have no central control. Everything's diversified. And because everything has records that are duplicates of each other, it's totally trustable. There can't be any mistaken uh, records in there. Blockchain with, with things like Ethereum lead to APIs. Ethereum can be used as a platform to develop other things in life, such as real estate sales. They keep constant ledgers, the whole ledger history of things, you know, that matter. That would matter for real estate. It might even matter for sales. It might matter for minerals that are, um, that are put into products. So it, there are a lot of these astounding things that, that blockchain can do to change life. It's kind of like in 2000, we looked at the internet and said, look at all these things that could be done by the internet that would change our life someday and, and we'll really be on to it. Do you see all that the companies analysis? invested and then it went, it went bust. It went bust. The only year that San Jose, California ever lost population was 2003. But you know what? Look ahead now, 2018. Everything we do in our life is improved by the internet. We have apps for everything. So it eventually happens, just that culture um, doesn't change, want to change it rapidly. And I, and I see blockchain as being in the same sort of place right now. Might be a bubble, but it's on the right track. Um, Bitcoin, though, sets such incredible high standards. Bitcoin is there and nobody runs it, knows it, and yet it works so well. And we think, oh, that will be the outcome of everything else. Bitcoin is limited to how many Bitcoin can ever be produced, unlike real currency, which governments can just create as much more of as, as they ever want to. You know, we're, we're getting down to something that's more realistic and defined by nature. Things defined by nature mean a lot more to me than things defined by human beings. So um, the trouble is not every blockchain, all these blockchain um, examples that are being done and, and put out there they kind of come up with, oh, new blockchain um, implementations that don't have necessarily the advantages that Bitcoin had. You can't do it and have something that's, that has a business model. And that's an interesting point because, you know, currency that we all use, dollars, euros, they were mandated by central entities. Blockchain is completely decentralized. So if you look further ahead, you know, 20 years, 30 years, 50 years, would you, would you say that we would be, you know, paying each other for whatever services we would be rendered using a non-centralized, but still recorded and accountable mechanism, as opposed to be dependent then of, of, of mechanisms that can be used for, you know, um, centrally controlled? I love it when we come up with changes that might be so good to humanity, and I follow it, and I love reading an article not too long ago about Jack Dorsey, one of the founders of Twitter and Square, the fintech company, um, and he was saying that, oh, in 10 years, everything was going to be done <coughs> by digital currency, Bitcoin mainly. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.